We are watching 8-bit days a week and we're gonna try out Dino Crisis 2 on the PlayStation Classic. Let's see how good or bad it runs. And I always preferred the second Dino Crisis over the first because it became more action-oriented and it made sense. It's actually quite fun <laughs> as opposed to the more survival horror style of the first one which was basically Resident Evil with dinosaurs and just turning on the show FPS so you guys have an idea not changing anything else let's see how it goes with default settings all right kind of bit dark there um skilled no don't you have easy Now, I did notice anyway that when it comes to cutscenes, that's not uh, like the in-game engine, like uh, those movies like this one, there isn't any problem whatsoever on the classic. Of course, you see there, like, it has a lot of pixelation, I think that's really how it was in the game anyway uh, low resolution and all okay well I'm gonna skip out the cutscene yeah, I think uh, it's basically good <laughs> and it Let's hope I still remember how to play this game. <laughs> so, this is just a case of way of welcoming guests, huh? Not exactly the red carpet treatment. You mean, there's no response? I'm pretty sure my team's all right. There's more than a thousand survivors. Let's get moving. Now, hold on. What was your name again? Hey! around the door won't open let's try the door over there oh come on didn't they teach you how to open a door at store training here I'll show you watch this uh, yeah that weapon definitely shoots excitement but I prefer to go in this way See ya, Mr. Barbarian. Hey, the name's Dylan. Call me that when you need some help, okay? So far, so good. Um, let's see. Of course, uh, low resolution polygons is expected, so it might come out like blurry. Okay, I know you can run with that thing. Okay, good. And uh, let's see, where's the. Huh, could have sworn there's a. Uh, there's like a status screen similar to Resident Evil. Okay, here's my first dinosaur. And there's that uh, blurry effect that they do from time to time that's expected. Running in circles? Oh, yeah, I am. Maybe I 
we should go that way. I think there is a way here. Nope, just the med pack. Well, everything looks great so far. And, um, I highly recommend this game. Berg. Let's hope we don't run into any more graphical issues. I mean, there is actually none to begin with, so far at least, from what I can see. Um, of course, things might change in later areas of the game. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go there. Right. So, if anything, there just seems to be some... Uh, it's not as crisp as it should be. There seems to be some filtering, so... The... The artwork on the background looks kind of blurry I mean not blurry but there it's not as clear as you'd hope but actually if I remember correct which I may be wrong that is expected on the even on the original console okay I lost a lot of life already. But game speed is okay on default settings. There's no massive slowdowns or anything like that. You can probably improve the performance even further uh, with a few tweaking. Which, uh, well, the advantage is you don't have to. You can still enjoy the game by just loading it up and playing it out. Am I supposed to go here or there? I can't remember. Oh, there. I'll just get this. Excuse me. So if you see some blurring there, that's actually that's actually how it is, I remember correct, and uh, even on the original console, uh, given that uh, Don't run away. Come out. We came here to rescue you. given that we're running now on like an HDMI, it may look terrible, so to speak. But it should be, I mean, back then when you play it on the CRT, those uh, little effects actually looked great. Uh, okay, well, I'm not saving right now though. At a bad start as it is. And um, if I remember right, this all this game supports the analogs, so you're gonna miss it here. But the D-pad uh, will do. The non-analog digital pad. Whoops. Am I going back? I can't. Oh no. Anyway, um, all right. This game is looking mighty fine on the PlayStation Classic. 
So I highly recommend you guys have this loaded on your little USB storage there connected to your classic and have fun. That's it for this video. You're watching 8-bit days a week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video for more classic gaming.